Hello, my name is Carlos C. Goller, and today I'm going to talk to you about using open education to precipitate gold nuggets of wisdom, an open pedagogy model for crowdsourcing notes and citizen science research using web annotation. And our slides are available at go.ncsu forward slash Delftia 21. A session description is included on, on the screen, but briefly, I want to tell you about some fascinating and woefully understudied and underappreciated microbes that live around us and how we can engage and catalyze students from our campus and beyond in the process of discovery and scholarly research. Fostering a sense of belonging, student agency, and engagement in authentic STEM practices. The Delftia project started in 2018, and we are looking to make this a better and broader initiative that uses open educational practices and reaches more students. The session goals are to describe how a virtual undergraduate research experience combining citizen science and open pedagogy can connect large enrollment introductory courses with upper division lab-based modules. We will list potential modifications of this framework that will provide opportunities for undergraduate students. And we aim to design potential modifications of the Delftia project that can leverage open educational resources, citizen science, and student engagement. The outline for this presentation consists of five points, all dated as questions. We will begin by asking, what is Delphia cedivorans, the microbe that started this project? Then we will talk about the Delphia project and how it transitioned during the pandemic. We will talk about what we're doing next. And finally, we will discuss how can you combine research and OEP to engage and empower. And the icon over here by Luis Prado from the Noun Project is people panning for gold. And that's what we were doing by searching for nuggets of wisdom during the pandemic. I teach molecular biology courses, including high throughput discovery, metagenomics, yeast metabolic engineering, and biotechnology and sustainability. As a microbiologist, I'm really interested in microbial communities and how to harness their power. And as an educator, I want to co-create with learners and learn with them. And an example of that is a WordPress site for the BIT 477-577 metagenomics course that enrolls undergraduate and graduate students. And we use sequencing, genomic sequencing, to learn about the microbial communities around us. And students produce podcasts, tutorials, and crowdsourced notes to learn together and share the information. And you can access that web page at the short link provided on the screen. We will begin with what is Delphia cedivorans? And a picture of it is shown on the right here. Delphia cedivorans is a microbe that is ubiquitous, found in soil, water, and on some surfaces in homes and buildings. We found it as part of a course taught in the fall of 2013, the first offering of my metagenomics course, and a participant had it in their kitchen sink. I was intrigued because this microbe that I had never heard about is able to take liquid gold and precipitate it out in gold nanoparticles, a miniature alchemist. It became the focus of the course. Where is Delphia cedivorans in the microbial communities in this environment or this other environment? And it drove student-led projects because it was a great way to attract students and bring them into research using molecular techniques. A campus-wide survey using uh, these approaches that we learned how to detect Delftia and engaging students from a 100 level introductory environmental sciences course and connecting them with 400 and 500 level 
undergraduate and graduate labs resulted in campus-wide searches for this microbe, where is Delphia? And we published last year a peer J paper describing that, where the first author was Noah Riley, an undergraduate, several NC State University library staff helped with this project. And the Wolfpack Challenge, where is Delphia from 2018, has continued ever since. So what is the Delphia project? We want to learn all about Delphia. It's usually driven by student projects and we're a community of scholars learning about this and other microbes. And our hub is a web page where students contribute to a blog, share research, resources and tips, and learn about Delphia cedivorans and other, other microbes with unique abilities. It's an exciting way to connect and share knowledge. And the link to that site is provided here as well as a video that was produced by students. So how did the Delphia project continue remotely last year? Well, we wanted to share research in an open and accessible way. And Lauren Bramillo, an undergraduate, and several others decided to revamp the website and bring the Alchemy blog into a new realm by having student contributors managers, editors, and leaders using hypothesis to annotate articles, wiki edu to learn about scholarly practices, and interacting with scientists made the blog a really active site and engaged with others. So what did they do? They used hypothesis to annotate texts. They took the wiki edu course and this is a group of 12 to 16 undergraduate student volunteers. They came up with a way of classifying articles based on tags they came up with and areas of research. And then they would dedicate two or three weeks to a topic, have different teams annotate texts and then summarize in blog posts. And at the end of the summer, they edited close to seven Wikipedia pages on Delphia Cedar Warrants. They went one step beyond. They started analyzing the texts, their blog posts, the Wikivu texts they edited, and learned about reading scores and the number of references and connections added. So the Delphia project catalyzes research on the microbe Delphia Cedar Warrants through crowdsourcing and open educational resources. What's really important is that undergraduates contribute to scholarly research using web annotation and publication tools to engage the public. So what started as a series of lab experiments in an upper division course in this lab, in this building on our beautiful campus has taken off and expanded. So what are we doing next? We want to follow our curiosity, and that's the curiosity of others and students, and create. And we have several questions. How can we learn and grow together? What can you share with the community? How can you be part of the community? And what questions do you have that we can answer together? So as a group, we have web pages for the different courses I teach, and I'm developing a 200 level blended course with online sessions and lab-based experiments. And the topic is using biotechnologies to address a challenging wicked problem. How do we recycle electronic waste sustainably using microbial power to reduce electronic waste? So with that, how can you combine research and OEP to engage and empower? And I want to talk to others. How can we engage students together? I want to acknowledge all the students and mentors along my path. Noah Riley, Deja Norman, Lauren Ramiller, Rabea Tahir, Tanasha, and numerous others. I was supported by the North Carolina State University Biotechnology Teaching Program. And the course images were created by me using Canva. The NC State University photographs are from the NC State pack pics. And icons were purchased from the noun project and recolored. And thank you. And I hope we can do something together.